Something bad. This is True Goddess the Rose, 777. Hello. Today's read is for Sagittarius. Just for Sagittarius. Sag, the cards have been shuffled. They've been prayed. And also, I have meditated over the cards. Um, Like, comment, and share the videos to support, to show your support. Um, I welcome... Any kind of support, comments, shares, like, all right? It helps the channel grow, and I so appreciate you guys. Um, all right, <clears throat> let's begin. This reading is just for Sagittarius Tarot. And for you, all you members, the video has been available and is available for you to view today. All right. So to become a member, join. Um, and become a member, you get readings specifically for Saggy Rock members. So go ahead and join and become a member. All right. And it's very affordable. Let's go. All right. The bottom of this deck is showing somebody that feels that they have a lot of excess baggage, which is the past is weighing them down. So this is somebody who is now being triggered. This is a person that, hmm, they're ready to end it all, set it off. This person is being triggered. This is a person who obviously is in this energy in which they were in a relationship that was fake, it was false, it was an illusion, it wasn't real. This person had this, idea that what they were into was something that was authentic this is a person that was giving a whole lot in return for something they were hoping to get some sort of satisfaction from this connection that they were in um this person was also giving and receiving hoping to receive some sort of benefit Again, this was a person that was giving also to their family and they were doing it a lot, quick, quite often. So this person is healing from the fact that this could be um, a multitude of ways this energy is what I'm seeing. So it's like somebody is healing from the idea that they have always exerted themselves to people in their family. The, this is... The people in their family that they've given so much of their time and energy and even possibly money, resources, these are things that were happening to this person that they were doing it like without even thinking. But now this is a person who is realizing that all along while you were in this situation or relationship, whatever it was, this family, these people that are connected to you, there's you, this could be a message for you, Sag, or someone in your energy. This is a person who is trying to basically reevaluate what's important. This is a person that is healing, um, providing themselves more of self care and moving forward. This may be you, in which possibly you are healing from realizing that you were in these toxic fake relationships and these relationships again can stem from those that are closest to you which is family so while you are giving so much of yourself um and you were doing it on a regular basis now this is you or somebody else again this is about somebody being triggered set out set off who's this person that's triggered this is something that spirit is asking you to change all right you or somebody else to to start it to start thinking about your future and what type of family you want. Again, here's somebody that was betrayed. This is a person that's feeling lonely. This is a person that may have removed themselves from their family now that they are realizing that the, the connection from family members was all fake and phony and pretty pretentious. It wasn't authentic. Give me a card for the set it off. Somebody being triggered. Who's this person being triggered? 
So yeah, this person was in a relationship also in which this could be a lover or a friend. Okay, the person that's being triggered is somebody that was really investing authentic them, themselves authentically. This is a person that was giving themselves in money. They were giving money. Oh, this is somebody that was giving to this a relationship that happened to be hmm that really was they didn't really know the full reason as to this pretentious fake relationship that they were in they are now seeing that all the time this whole time that they were okay they were also given to somebody that was a fake a phony it was surface level this is a person that possibly was given to someone to create a new family, to build a new connection, to have like this real, um, a family that would enable this person to have all the wealth and the riches, 606. So this is a person that's triggered because what they were doing in secret, again, in the part right out with a past relationship or somebody that I don't know this is somebody that they're trying to see the reality into what they were doing this is somebody that sees that all of the here it is the family card the, the, all of the money all of the time um giving to this this family trying to receive a big windfall of some sort like this person was given to okay this is a person that was given to their family expecting to have a great big windfall this is a person that indeed put money into a it's like a proposition and now they have clarity about this relationship or this connection of giving themselves very naively to their family while they were juggling uh, business, you, whatever they were doing, it was to try to build this. I feel like this person got gaslit by their family or by a person. It could be a person. This is a person in particular that they gave a lot to, invested a lot into and now they're triggered because the the people that they were giving so much to has always been a baggage has always been the ones in their life that were weighing them down but I feel like this is a person that if you had told this person that they were being used by their family they probably wouldn't have listened to you see with the eight of wands this is somebody that does things very hasty you know, real quick. They don't even think. It's just this person was very loyal. And this could be you again, Sag. Take the energies as they apply. So it's about being loyal um, without even thinking, what, without even having all the details, without seeing the big picture, just giving, trying to receive, I guess, love. Yeah, here we go. This is a person that has a healing heart that they're working on. This person is having and experiencing a heartbreak, right? From this toxic addition, ad, uh, from this toxic, I uh, cannot get this word out. This person is experiencing heartbreak from a toxic, ad, ad, uh, oh my God. This person doesn't want me to let you all know that they were addicted. This is like addictions. This person was addicted to being almost like a doormat for people and this is heartbreaking to this person so they're, it's like they're trying to heal it's like they were given to these false relationships and it could be more than just an actual family book to lovers they were given to people that really was just using them for their resources and now that they're trying to see the truth that real love isn't based on someone always giving something and trying to get something back in return. This is what this person's 
idea of love was. This is what they truly believed. They thought they were never enough. This person always felt that they were never enough, that they always had to give in order to get back any kind of true connection, even with their family members. Now, so this person would go around self-sabotaging relationships because they were jealous. So if you are the type that was giving of yourself and you possibly may have told this person, hey, I just like you for you. Um, this person would seek out to try to, you know, allow others to interfere in the connection with you. So uh, the karmic relationship. So they allowed somebody that was very plastic, somebody that was a karmic, somebody that would seduce. It keeps coming up. This is a person that allowed themselves to be seduced. I'm telling y'all by family, by friends in a karmic relationship. They had to learn some kind of lessons. This person resented learning lessons, fleeting triggers. Again, this person is triggered now. This person is receiving and experiencing a lot of turmoil in their life because of a karmic relationship that was very plastic and fake. They let go of loving you because they allowed themselves to be seduced in a fake relationship. So they chose to give to a surface level connection that fake love and someone that was not real. There was not a real connection. It was just this person wanted to get from this person. So they took a, they took a chance. They took a risk. They were being very strategic and they were not showing their hand. So when they were doing things, they were trying to hide what they were doing. So like this person didn't, this person wasn't sincere and honest. I mean, you know, I don't know. I expect this kind of energy from possibly a child. Uh, as an, a, an adult, a male or female adult, you know, people want to have their cake and eat it too. So I feel like this person was in this energy with you. It's like this person wanted to keep you around and then also go play tag, get tag with somebody that was superficial. And that's truth. That's the truth. So these are the mysteries and your inner knowing and the insight that was brought to you. So because you are very emotionally stable, you're not somebody that gets taken in just by somebody's looks or what they have or, you know, feel like you being um, a high priestess, you're the one that your spiritual guides will give you the discernment that you need to discover the truth when it comes to people in your life. You trust that. You're not just driven by somebody's pretty picture or just a representative because you have people that show their representative before you really get to know the person. So this person is now triggered, triggered by the fact that they allowed themselves to be, I would say, kind of conned. So 1333 when I say that. So this person was conned and now they're in this conflict. They're competing, they're fighting, they're having a lot of arguments. They're, they realize that the person that they were giving everything to was che a cheater that was cheating on them. This is a person now that they have a reality check. They have a reality, reality check of how immature and how cooperative that they were with the person that was really just um, a fake and a phony. So now they're in this energy where there's a lot of ups and downs. They're trying to adapt. They're trying to regain some kind of balance in their life. They had a lot of things where they're losing a lot of money in and out. Things are going in and out of this person's life. Um, now there's going to be a lot of sense of belonging and wholeness. This could be you, Sag, in which things were kind of up and down with, with your finances. Now that um, you have clarity in your life and you realize that um, the 
the people in your life that you were also giving to, they were very plastic. They weren't real. It was all surface driven. People weren't really showing you the real truth as to what their intentions were when they were in your life. So that's what I see there as well. But I'm going to get a card in particular, Sag, and it was a lover. This had to do with a lover. This person is concerned that there's some sort of huh, high honor. So this person is concerned that you're going to be meeting someone that will be respectful. Somebody that has depth to them, not somebody that's plastic and surface that's on the surface when it comes to how they feel. You're going to have somebody in your life that's going to be very um, also spiritual. They're going to have a connection and a knowing of who they are. This person doesn't spend enough time with people to get to know them. They just jump right in and they just start giving, hoping to receive um, a lot from what they invest in. Give me some information about the Ten of Pentacles. Spirit, tell me about what is it that, that Saz needs to know about the Ten Okay, this person, 33. You guys may be 33. 33, that's an angel number. Okay, so this is somebody that's now concerned. Huh. Yep, again, it's a lot of concern here. Something about their house. There's something that's, okay, so there's about, there's something about this person's family and money as how money was being, okay. This person, again, I'm telling y'all, this is just like the message that you should go see for the new Saggies who did not see the recent message that was just um, presented for your viewing. This is the message that talks about Somebody really in this energy in which they were dealing with family members in an unethical, devious, criminal way. And this feels like this energy that's continuing to, you know, go back in. So, Sagis, for, for the ones that have not seen this message that was um, presented to you, it's about between worlds, okay, chaos and conflict. The title is called Sagittarius um, Spirit Guides Removed You as the Skeletons of Someone Else's World of Secrets or Being or Due to Be Revealed, un, um, huh, Due to Be Unveiled. So the message that was just, um, that's available for you guys, it, it's like this, it's about a family. It's about a lover. So it's like this person was giving to their family as well as lovers and they were doing it often. So this is what spirit is showing me. This is a person that would invest what little they had in secret um, without you knowing this is what they were doing. So it's like they were doing a double dose of connecting with a fake woman or man who they were given to as well as the, their family. So this is what they're all concerned about. This is a message of concern. So up, oh, oh, imprisonment. I cannot make it up. This person is concerned and they're all in their head because they stand a chance of doing prison time. When they invested with their family, here we go, and a lover, this is what Spirit is saying. So this money, this was like a, a some sort of connection in which their family and their lovers were together doing some illegal dealings. And they're worried. They're worried. So this is what's in this person's head. They're worried that the mysteries of this lifestyle that they had with their lover that was a fake and a phony, and it was only surface, it was a surface level connection. This person, this is, okay, this is the other thing. So they're concerned that they invested money at night doing dirt, 
But this is the thing. This person is easily seduced, like I said. This person, all someone has to do is to tell this person I like you. That's It's not a whole lot for this person to, to just like give it up. This is how this person is. It doesn't take a lot for this person to start investing with people or trying to connect to two people, even in their family. It's easy to seduce this person. I'm telling you, it's very, very easy. This person was told by somebody as well as their family members, oh, I like you. So it's easy to seduce them because this person doesn't love themselves. They don't feel that they're enough. So what they do is get into karmic relationships. These relationships, again, family members, lovers, it doesn't matter. This person is, this is somebody that needs to, you know, really get some therapy, get some help because this person is broken. This person is, is broken. And when you came into this person's life, this is not how you move. I believe you guys may have mentioned to this person that you could see some things that this person couldn't see. As a high priestess, I'm sure you may have told this person that your family is really just using you for what you have. Whatever they can get from you, this is why these people come to you. It's like when this person's family or friends or lovers calls them, this person you know, it's like they just give everything to the to the people that they feel um, really have love for them. They drop everything. I mean, they do stuff real quick for their family. The Eight of Swords is about somebody taking action in a very swift way. So this person gave money to a person that was very superficial as well as to their family. And they did it very swiftly. Like again, but this was all in the sake of finding love or having love. This person doesn't understand what true love and how you build real true connections. So now this person is concerned because they're looking back at when they were so quick to give to a lover and their family that it's going to cost them some prison time. You guys, go look at that video. I'm telling y'all, go look at it. Because it's going to also match up to what I'm talking about. So that's everything. This is a person that now feels that they're weighed down. This person is weighed down. The past is weighing them down. So they're feeling triggered. They feel like they were set up. This person feels like they were set up by their family. And, uh, and a lover. This person feels like they were set up. Yep. And they were seduced by people just maybe saying a few good words to this person. And they would just pick up and go. It's like, it's really a sad person that doesn't value themselves to understand that there are snipers and... <sighs> Scammers. This person is a scammer themselves because, listen, mum's the word. This person was celebrating with these people. It's like they put you on the back burner. This person put you on the back burner. As a high priestess, I feel like you saw everything, most things I'll say. I feel like you had a inkling to inform this person of what you saw. Dirty money, illegal activity. I'm telling y'all, this person invested in some illegal activity that's going to land them in jail. That's what this is. Now they're trying to escape this, this whole thing. They're trying to run away from their problems. It's too late now. Because they've already peaked. Their glory days are over. So when they went back to this plastic man or woman... Identity thief. Someone else is fitting the bill. Yep. So it's some sort of scam where they're stealing identity. This person may be dealing with something that has to be um, some sort of scheme with their family. What else? Oh, exposed. The truth is revealed. It's coming out. I'm telling y'all. This person's life 
is hanging on a string. Because they gave to their family very quickly, quite often, and invested in secret some dirty connection, um, in a dirty connection, in a dirty business, some unethical type of business, identity thief. This person could have been in a lot of schemes that they were celebrating with their family and this person that they were dealing with. Dirty money, illegal activity. So again, they were either getting money, stealing money, and they were doing some wild things. This person was involved in, I told y'all, you need to look at the video that was just uploaded. Wild things. Yeah, this person was involved in a lot of things. And now they're arousing their scare tactics. I don't know if this person is trying to scare you. Hot and cold, extreme, I don't know. But that's the really sad. So we know now that this person is feeling really triggered. They're at the edge. This is like the nine of swords. This person is having a mental breakdown because they realize what they've done. It, it's, it's a high chance that this person is headed to prison for possibly a sex ring, identity theft, somebody that's laundering money. This is what this person was doing. They're going to receive some sort of message at their home. This is what they're concerned about. And they're going to be jailed. Them and their lover will be jailed. This is where they're headed, to prison. This person did a lot of dirty stuff. And now everything is coming to the surface. Inability to see the bigger picture. They couldn't see it. This person, person was very greedy and materialistic. This is why this person is in the position that they are. They did anything for money. I do anything for clout because they were too freaking lazy to really invest in themselves in a in a real ethical way. This person is living rent free. They can get you out of their head. This person is remembering everything that you spoke to them about. As a high priestess, you were speaking the truth to this person. They didn't hear it. Now they're bitter. They're bitter, and it's a hard pill to swallow when they realize that the things that you were telling this person was true. So because they couldn't accept the fact that what you were, you were actually giving this person game as to what you were seeing as a high priestess, they canceled. They didn't want to hear anything you had to say. So they went towards somebody that was plastic as well as a boy toy. This person likes the same sex, male or female. And they were stockpiling money, dirty money. So that's the way Sag. I think that's everything. Now, what is it that Spirit is needing you to know for yourself? Again, this person was involved in something that they were bounded to in a third-party connection, which was sex. I'm telling y'all. So this person was, they had their hands in a lot of things. This is why this person ghosted you because they were involved and bonded with filled with lust having all these sexual desires was it love or lust no we know it was lust because it was a plastic relationship and a third party connection that interfered in this connection remember this person was with somebody who they who was superficial and the person that they were with huh, this is a person whose body is really all real fucked up this person huh, was looking for the best, focusing on yourself, punishing the ex. So they call themselves going to somebody to punish you. And the person that they went to, they believe would bring them a lot of happiness. But see, spirit is going to bring you happiness and you'll be engaged. Anything else? And we're closing, Sag. So just realize this person just painted themselves in a corner with all their dirty business um, propositions misled I told y'all this person was misled by their family and a lover uh, the shocking events I'm telling y'all this person is getting, getting ready to get the shock of their life it's all going to unfold go read 
unexpected surprise. I'm telling you, this person is concerned. Unexpected surprises. They did not see it coming and it's unpredictable. This person is going to get the shock of their life. They will. It's coming. Misled. Trust is broken and unreliable. So they trusted their family and their lover without any question. They didn't question these people, but they would question you as the high priestess. You were telling this person what you what you saw. You had questions. Yep. You possibly were going around in circles trying to get this person to see the truth and all they would do is run. They didn't want to hear the truth that was being spoken to them by you, an earth angel. So now this person, this is why spirit is showing here that this, this matches up. This is why this person is concerned. They're concerned because the unexpected shocking events is about to go down with this person they're about to be notified at their home them and their lover if they're living with this person they're about to be arrested and shipped right off to jail 31011 uh, when i said that in 3103 that's the said. just know that this person is about to go down life is about to change for this person very very quickly because they always had a naughty little secret but it's coming out now it's going to be shown for everyone to see that's the read Sagittarius I definitely always want to leave you guys a love message from your angels you guys be patient when I say that's it and all that just know just wait till I'm done completely because I can't go on and on see this person compromised their life and they compromised the relationship with you for superficiality their family were fake their lovers their friends everybody around this person was gaslighting them they were gaslighting you but they got gaslight on as well but the difference between you and them is you're a high priestess you trust your intuition you stick to that everything that will happen to you will be in perfect timing everything happening for you will be in perfect timing Spirit is saying compromising is something you don't need to do. Meditation will bring answers. And if you believe all that is coming forward to you, it will happen and it will resonate with you. If you believe this, the peaceful resolution is about to unfold for you with this person in this energy that they're in. This person is in your energy. This is why these reads keep coming out with this person. But I feel like spirit is showing you just enough each and every time. Because now this these reads are more focused on who the person was dealing with who ghosted you, the third party. It's telling you more and more psychologically about the third party. Psychologically that is being hidden from you while you were in this connection with this person. It's all unfolding. Spirit, angels, and the universe, they know when things need to be revealed. Again, this person and the person that they're with, if they're living with this lover, they're going to be arrested all at the same time. That is the read, Sagittarius. Again, everything will be a peaceful resolution for you. It will be in the perfect time. Spirit is saying compromise. Compromising is not something that you will you will need to be doing. And if you believe, that is the read. Thank you, Sagittarius. Bye.